YouTube, the video sharing website that's taking the internet by storm. In February of 2005, computer science designers Chad Hurley and Steve Chen, together with Jaweed Kareem, got together to create an internet forum where the average consumer could view, upload, and share videos. Thus, YouTube was born. Today, YouTube serves more than 100 million videos every day and makes up 60% of the video watching traffic on the web. In November of 2006, YouTube was purchased by Google Incorporated for more than $1.65 billion. That's more than the gross national products of Monaco and Equatorial Guinea combined. With so much money invested, who's watching? My favorite YouTube video? Uh, right now? It's Chad Vader. You know Darth Vader's brother? Chad, Chad Vader. Chad Vader. Thing in the box. Skate videos in there of some guys biting it pretty hard. The little kid cussing at his mom. Okay, go. Oh, that guy that does all the dancing things from all the centuries. An evolution of dance video. Dancing fool guy. Broke back to the future. Music videos that people make with video games. I just watched like four hours of the last night. That dancing kitty cat. Oh, Only so 15. Oh, I don't have a favorite. I don't play favorites. But YouTube does. We traveled to the site to check out the most viewed videos of all time. And the top of the list? The evolution of dance. We interviewed Chris Lazinski, an aspiring YouTube content producer, to learn more about posting videos. I went to film school. I graduated with a bachelor's in film production. And I now work for Warner Brothers Animation as an editor. And my end goal is to produce films and television shows. I started using YouTube because the site actually worked. I could host all my videos on there and it was for free. Um, it takes barely any time to upload files. Right now I have 22 videos of mine on YouTube. My videos have been viewed 24,402 times. YouTube has become so popular because I think most people have a complex with becoming famous. I am so trying to become famous. So what are Chris's chances of making it big? We stormed the studios to find out. Meet Sam Alexander, TV film developer. Uh, I know the development people at uh, Paramount are, are cruising YouTube all the time. They have someone who just does that. Because they're looking for the new thing. Only one deal I found. Parats and Beretta. A couple of producers up in Spokane, Washington, two guys from college, had their own website, did their own videos, they have a one-year deal with, with, uh, with NBC. That's the only deal I could find. I think your chances are better to be killed by an asteroid than to, put, that, than to actually be successful by posting on YouTube. So should Chris give up on his dreams of stardom? With total YouTube view time surpassing 9,000 years, consumers have proved that they have time and they're spending it on YouTube. But what about the traditional media outlets that used to fill that time? We met up with Keisha Bradley of Warner Brothers TV Business Affairs to find out more. I know a lot of studios are actually chasing after, trying to find out who's posting content and get them to pull it down. What YouTube has done is kind of brought competition to networks for saying, oh look, we can put stuff up here that people want to watch and they're going to watch it for free. So networks look at that as competition because it's pulling people away from paying for their shows. So what they've done is try to compensate and put up their content on their own website so at least people are coming to their websites looking at their content which they've approved and put up and their, people are still looking at it for free but they're also seeing whatever else the website wants them to see. 9,000 years of YouTube viewing is actually only a positive thing for the industry because we will find a way to seduce those people into spending money on our product one way or the other and using YouTube to do that well they're already doing that uh, Fox is using it NBC is already doing it there's advertisement all over YouTube that is put together by producers and networks and you know the labels so it's only a good thing 
I think that should be inspiration to people to make better content on television and films that people will actually want to pay to see. So, what does the future hold for YouTube? It has captured a generation of internet users, but will it stick? Everything always changes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, the, that's the rule of thumb. Everything is always going to change. Since the digital world has come to, to be part of our lives, we have to accept it. And the way we deal best with it is to not fight it, but to use it. The bottom line is always what's most important.